Welcome to another Scrap Codex book summary. Today we are starting with Book 1 of the Dark Imperium Trilogy by Guy Haley. The novel centers around the newly resurrected Primarch Robut Gilliman, the son of the Emperor and the leader of the Ultramarines, after being in stasis for nearly 10,000 years. The novel opens with a flashback of Ultramarines commencing a boarding action on the Emperor's children flagship. Once inside, Gilliman duels with Fulgrim's serpent demon form. The fierce confrontation ends with Gilliman's mortal wounding by Fulgrim's poisonous blades. His final memories are the echoes of his legionaries as they sacrifice themselves to evacuate his body as the flagship breaks apart. The present timeline story takes place in the aftermath of the 13th Black Crusade, when the forces of chaos have managed to split the Imperium in half by creating the Cicatrix Maledictum, a tear in reality, and a galaxy-wide warp storm. Imperium's Space Marine chapters now reinforced with Primaris Astartes, developed by Archmagos Belisarius Call over ten millennia. They join their battle-forged brothers, whom now carry the titles of Firstborn. Gilliman launched the Indomitus Crusade and managed to return the Imperium of Man to a state of relative normalcy. All the while, he faces challenges both external and internal. He grapples with the horrors of the 41st millennium and the decline of the Imperium, which has strayed far from the vision of his father, the Emperor of Mankind. He contends with religious zealotry in the form of the Ecclesiarchy and the Imperial Cult, which worship the Emperor as a god. Feeling dismayed to see how the Imperium he fought for during the Great Crusade has devolved into a state of ignorance and superstition during his absence. His forces confront various enemies, including the forces of chaos, the traitorous Death Guard led by Mortarion, Gilliman's fallen brother, and the insidious Nurgle's plague, which ravaged the worlds of Ultramar. Mortarion sets up large demonic machines on key planets, which destabilize the star realm of Ultramar and allows the leakage of the warp into our space-time, opening a gateway to Nurgle's garden, Chaos God's own realm of disease and pestilence. The novel delves into Death Guard's internal politics and rivalries reveal that some of the Nurgle's chosen refuse to participate in the invasion of Ultramar, accusing Mortarion of pursuing vengeance rather than seeking to expand Nurgle's influence. The climax of the novel comes when Gilliman attacks Espandor, with the intention of capturing the system closest to the Scourge Stars. His forces succeed and destroy Chaos Demon machines, effectively cutting off their reinforcements and halting the demonic ritual. In the end, Gilliman resolves to continue his fight for the survival of humanity. Even as he struggles with the burden of leadership and the knowledge that the Imperium may never return to the idealized vision of his fathers, he also arrives at the conclusion that the Emperor may not have seen him and his brothers as anything more than tools. The novel ends on a note of uncertainty, setting the stage for further conflict and exploration in the subsequent books of the series. Thanks for watching and check out the follow up to this novel, Plague War.